Tsunami Studios. Strange Adventures issue number nine. It feels like it's been a long time since we talked about this book. So let's kind of catch everyone up to where we left things off with our Adam Strange boy. So the Pict are invading Earth. The heroes are forming a plan to figure out what really happened to Adam Strange on Ran. Everyone's kind of against him. He just confessed to his wife that the events of the person at the bookstore was his fault because he doesn't understand. Or he doesn't really trust himself to really know what the war is anymore. And that's pretty much we where we are at with him. Very fascinating idea we are playing with. Again, with every issue... We're doing two different time periods, so I like to start with the things in the past to see how they relate to the stuff in the future. So in the past, we are pretty much setting up this idea that comes into the present day, and that is we are seeing the ramifications of what you need to do when you are in a war, which it's an area that Tom King really likes to explore. Is this like this guy who's been through hard times and what you have to do to survive and how surviving matters to you in certain ways. And it's amazing that he really captures it well here, but worse in other places. And we'll talk about another Tom King book today <laughs> that uh, that doesn't do stories as good as this one. Basically, in the past, we are seeing that Alana and Adam are saying goodbye to their daughter. We still don't know what happened to her yet, per se, but there was some events that led to her death. And in the past, we still see... Adam is being the hero and he's going about doing all these dangerous things. And the idea in this book that is really presented is what do you do in war that makes you a good man? Because we see in the present day that there's some accusations against Adam for doing like horrendous crime stuff during the war, like things of grave offense. And what is that really? And we do see those actions that he did in the book that could be seen as a grave offense. Now, I like that this book doesn't take a stand either way on if what he did was right or wrong. Basically, what the book says is, this is what happened. How you interpret this is up to you. So you could see the actions that Adam did where he's like breaking into the stealth area. I love when we do like a, like a costume for a stealth mission that's just the same suit but black and wearing a mask. It looks really fun. So Adam, he's going stealthily into like the Pick City. There's like propaganda against him and everything. And basically they are setting off like this big, like toxic gas that's going to lure everybody out for a trap. And basically the idea is that this gas is going to kill you. We see one of the Pick soldiers run into it and he gets killed and Adam's trying to escape it. And we see that this is an entire plan by his people. And we see like all the picked running out of, of their like city. They're all like literally on the verge of death and collapse. And as we saw in one of the earlier issues when Adam was talking to like those people when he was captured in like the, what is it, like the Rock City? I can't remember the name of those people specifically. But in one of the earlier issues, Adam and Alana were kidnapped by these people that live below the surface. And basically they are working with those people to lure out the picked so we see that as like the toxic gas is killing the people in the city and the ones that are trying to escape are running for their lives the people that live underground make a giant hole as the picked are running away so they fall into this trap and they basically get trapped there and enclosed in the ground and killed and it's like whoa okay <laughs> like that's a dark area to play with tom Again, it's like, these are the things that you do in war. You can't say it's good or bad because you were not in that situation. And it's really clear that, like, in the moment, you have to make the decision. Whether it's a good decision or a bad decision, a call has to be made. Either way, something has to be said in the area. And that is what Adam did there. It might not, might not have been the right call, but it's the one they did to get people out of that situation. And you're like, damn, I can't argue with that. Like, you, you made the call. You showed the harshness of war, the toxic gas killing people, which is like a, a grave offense. I think that is one of the things. Like using toxic gas, that's kind of a little dark. That's not what a hero does. <laughs> and like I said, we see in the present day with everything, like Elena is talking to Adam as he's trying to take down some of the pick ships. It's basically, it's this idea like, so the Justice League, they're running their evaluation. They think you did do some grave offenses in the war. They're going to still, like, look into some stuff with that. So there's a lot of stuff about that you should be on the lookout for. Basically, you are not allowed to be on the Justice League anymore. So you can't spend time with these people. You can't do anything with these people. You have to deal with this on your own. Whatever it is, it's going to be. It's up to you to deal with it. They're still looking into what happened to that guy at, like, the, the book signing. They don't know yet. So just keep fighting the good fight, and we'll see what happens in the end. And that it's so good. Like, 
I know I could talk about like Mitch Jared and Doc Shaner's artwork, but you guys get it. You guys know that these guys are like staples at DC. They knock it out of the park every time. Every shot they do, every frame they do looks good. And I think compared to other books, the slow burn of this adventure book really works because it's like we can do a panel to show the explosion and then Adam flying away where if it was like a different book that is trying to be something it's not the pacing would be a little off but the pacing works really well for this story I think that works pretty cool it works well we get a scene where Adam tries to confront Batman and there's talking about like I didn't do anything wrong Bruce like you know I didn't and you see maybe Bruce is trying to think like just stop okay but he gets shot by one of the picked soldiers. Adam tries to fly him away and he kills the picked that shot him. And you're like, okay, getting dark and scary again. What else is new? <laughs> it's really good. So I think this, the next scene we're going to talk about, I think is something that Tom King really wanted to express when he was making this book. And this is the stuff that I'm sure he's dealt with in his own life when he was like doing his, you know, operative stuff. <laughs> I say operative, you know, you guys know Tom King. He worked for certain areas of the government. <laughs> Tom King. Yeah, so we see that Elena is on like a newscast and she's saying like, like we, this is what happened to my planet. These are like really scary things. Now, there are things that are going to happen to Earth. We saw with like Phoenix being destroyed in the last issue. Bad things are going to happen. Like they had to, they happened to my planet. This is what the picked do. They are killers and murderers. And basically she's like, do you want your Justice League just to like bitch and moan about how we're the bad guys when we're the actual ones who know how to stop this from happening? And the entire time, you see in shots of, like, Adam Strange flying Batman to safety, and you see shots of, like, Mr. Terrific just drinking and getting more aggressively angry with every sentence that Alana says. And you're like, that is really good. That is some good stuff. It's a great juxtaposition between, like, yeah, Terrific might know that she's playing the system, and she's talking up this area, and it's, like, making the world believe that she's in the right. But is she really in the right? We'll never know, truly. And that is such a cool thing to explore. A really fun idea that is just so dark and twisted, but realistic. Then we cut to like this talk show in the morning, and basically the hosts are like, you know what? Maybe Adam Strange is right. Like he's he understands the situation, and if this world's falling apart, maybe we need people like him, not the Justice League, but people like him. And as that's going on, we see that Mr. Terrific is writing a letter to Alana. We don't know what it's going to say yet, but it's kind of like, I think you're ready to see some truths, which is kind of a dark and twisted idea. I'm really liking this. This is the stuff that Tom King excels at. This is it right here. The slow political burn. That is great. And we end things looking at like the past on Ren and we see that the picked are like getting destroyed and everybody is celebrating Adam Strange as like this war hero and this god and you can see it's starting to get to him and it looks very cool and it, I'm just like damn that's some great stuff so that's where the book in the past ends and we get a nice scene where you know he Superman and Adam are having a conversation and I like this too Adam's like you know I asked for your help a long time ago because this is what happens when we didn't do anything about it and you know we've both been through enough but i asked i begged for your help and now look at where we are absolutely devastatingly perfect and a great use of the character of superman because yes adam did ask for help superman said i can't get involved in politics and now look what happens when it comes to your doorstep absolutely fantastic a great craftsmanship of a story beautiful perfectly designed narrative absolutely breathtaking i love this book a lot fantastic use of adam strange and the world it was setting up if only he could do this with all his other works oh tom you are such a great writer and a frustrating one all at the same time so strange adventures issue number nine i am going to give a 10 out of 10 now, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.